Booyah! Well, we do recommend, you know, about five or six sports books that stand head and shoulders above the rest at uh, offshoreinsiders.com. Arguably our most popular, mybookie.ag. They have very aggressive promos, re-up promos, and if you've never had an account there before, up to a $1,000 bonus, first-time deposit. And, you know, maybe you want to sign up two months from now, three months from now. We've made an arrangement. If you use the promo code Duffy, D-U-F-F-Y, you're always going to get the largest bonus that they have going on at the time. And, best of all, it's your way of saying I want more free information, telling them to continue to support this killer sports betting podcast. Again, mybookie.ag. Please use the promo code of Duffy. All right, now let's get to your free pick for today. We're going to go uh, with the Ravens, minus a seven and a half. I'm sorry, we're actually going to go with Philadelphia. Philadelphia, minus the seven and a half against the uh, Ravens. Baltimore is four and one straight up, including two and oh on the road. Now, Philadelphia is one, three and one straight up, including oh, one and one at home. So, of course, what are a lot of people going to say? Well, you know, under those circumstances, you got to bet with the Ravens, right? They're way better on the road than Philly is at home. False. This sets up an anti-splits angle. As I've said many times, one of the biggest, the first signs of finding out the difference between somebody who truly is a sharp person and someone who just wants to be a sharp person and a a wannabe is if they talk about home-road dichotomy. And they'll tell you, well, you know, if one team is so much better at home than they are on the road, continue to bet that. Or in a case like this where... The road team is better on the road than the home team is at home, both straight up and ATS. They'll tell you to bet with the road team. That is hashtag fake news. Nope. Splits very rarely hold up. Sets up an anti-splits angle that basically says fade road teams who have been better on the road than the home team has been at home. It's 142, 108, and 11. That would favor the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, the Eagles are 1-4, minus 5.8, re, um, not return on investment, but minus uh, 5.8, so, you know, some people call it the sweat barometer or margin of cover. That margin of cover puts them, I think it's the third worst in the NFL. That's how many points they do or do not cover the spread by on average. But this sets up a great regression to the mean angle about betting on bad teams. Yep, something that gamblers don't like to do. And that's why it is a good thing to do, because the odds makers know it. Betting on bad teams is a good bet. 194, 116, and 13. Yeah, Jackson's one of the top-rated quarterbacks on the road, ATS. I think he's 8-2-1, and one, but you can't bet retroactively. And the odds makers know it. That's why he's laying a ton of points, 7.5 on the road, for crying out loud. Now, Philadelphia's allowed to have about 6,000 fans. Um... I don't know if that's going to make a huge difference, but the fact that they will be playing in front of some fans for the first time and coming back from a road trip, at the very least, I do think it will help. Um, Admittedly, okay, we use our power ratings. Two of them, basically, there's three power ratings slash simulators that we stand above the rest. Two of the three basically say this line is about right. It should be about seven, seven and a half, eight. Um, One of them, Admittedly, does like the Ra- the Ravens, and although home underdogs traditionally are very good in recent years, road favorites have been fairly good bets, so it's probably not going to be a premium play, probably not going to be a premium play, but I do like this play, certainly at the very least, as a free play for the best on Philadelphia. Once again, Philadelphia for the best premium plays, go to offshoreinsiders.com. Please remember, if you do like our information, you know, visit us on Twitter. Or do you subscribe to us? At, it's at Offshore Insider. Now, again, Twitter limits our characters, so there's no S at the end of it. Just at Offshore Insider, though the website itself is at OffshoreInsiders.com. And we appreciate any likes you can give us, or if you're listening to the audio podcast, giving us a uh, a five and you know, and review us on iTunes and Stitcher. I think you can give reviews and any other place. If you can give a review, we would appreciate a very kind review, share, and, um, you know, go on Periscope, give us a heart. It's your way of saying you want more information like this, and it, and it frankly helps us. All right, we'll talk to you soon, and visit us at offshoreinsiders.com.